A global human rights organization is calling for an international investigation in Syria. Human Rights Watch has conducted its own investigation into an opposition offensive in Latakia province in August. It says Syrian rebels killed at least 190 civilians and took more than 200 hostages during the operation around Alawite villages. Human Rights Watch says some of the rebel groups involved in the killings are linked to Al-Qaeda. The 105 pages claim that at least five rebel groups were responsible. It says that amounts to war crimes. Human Rights Watch report says 43 of those killed were women, children and elderly. And it asked the UN Security Council to refer Syria to the International Criminal Court. OK, let's talk to Lama Fahi, who's the Human Rights Watch researcher, if you like, the investigator who spoke to witnesses in Latakia, joining me now from Beirut. Um, you say five rebel groups were involved. Can you identify them and to whom they say they owe their allegiance? Uh, yes, that's right. We did identify that over 20 groups participated in the operation that began on August 4th in Latakia countryside, but that five groups were principally involved in uh, the planning and commanding of the operation. Uh, those groups are Ahrar al-Sham, Jabhat al-Nusra, Islamic State of Iraq and Sham, a group called uh, Sukur al-Ajz, uh, Jesh al-Muhajirin, and um, these groups, we believe, are, are the ones, again, uh, for whom the international community should impose an arms embargo. Uh, all actors should stop supporting these groups, uh, given the uh, credible allegations that they are responsible for uh, these systematic war crimes and crimes against humanity. You believe this was a deliberate massacre rather than something that happened in the heat of battle? Yes. Uh, residents that I spoke to told me that in the early morning hours of August the 4th that they heard the sound of incoming uh, gunshots and mortar fire. Um, they described how uh, opposition fighters came into their villages, into their homes, um, executed individuals, shot at residents while they were trying to flee and uh, tried in many cases to uh, kidnap women and children to hold them as hostages. Have any of those who were taken hostage been returned? The hostage takers continue to hold over 200 individuals uh, from the villages based on opposition sources. We are urging uh, these groups to release the hostages and for all actors that have leverage with these groups to exert that pressure on them uh, to let them go. You, you say you don't want these groups to get hold of any more weapons. Who, who's paying for them? Who's supporting them? We did identify in the report that there were individuals from Gulf states that were acting as fundraisers and financiers to the operation, which was termed the Operation to Liberate the Coast. We also know that uh, the groups were composed of a number of foreign fighters uh, that participated in this operation. And the information that we have reflects that these fighters entered into Syria via Turkey. We are urging the Turkish government to step up its border control policies uh, to limit and restrict access um, for those that are committing abuses uh, into Syria. Can I just ask you what, one final question, Lamar? When you say that you believe that these were people in, in the Gulf states, a number of Gulf states who, who paid for this, are you pointing the finger at any governments, um, any national subsidies of, of these people, or, or are you saying this is simply individuals with money to spend and, and a cause to, they believe, defend? We do not have any evidence that um, countries supported the operation, but we do know that residents from Gulf states, uh, they identified themselves and they were identified on uh, opposition social media uh, sites as fundraising and financing for this operation. So we are urging the Gulf states to, again, step up monitoring of um, transactions uh, into Syria to try to limit the funds that are going to these groups which are perpetrating these types of abuses.